And we are following this breaking news this morning. Cell phone service disrupted across the country. Tens of thousands getting hit by a massive service outage. An industry source telling CNN that there's no indication, at least now, of a cyber attack. But they are still investigating what's going on. AT&T customers seem to be facing widespread issues. The company just acknowledged to CNN they're experiencing disruptions to its network, saying, quote, we are working urgently to restore, to restore service to them. Let's bring in CNN's Brian Fung, who's tracking the outage and the response as it's been kind of unfolding this morning. Also with us is senior national security analyst Juliet Kayam. Brian, what is the latest on these outages and the disruptions? Yeah, Kate, as of right now, we've seen tens of thousands of user reports on the website downdetector.com, uh, mostly from AT&T customers saying they're having trouble placing calls, not having service. Uh, and we've seen numerous uh, reports from um, emergency services around the country saying you may have trouble uh, reaching um, 911 if you're an AT&T customer, uh, recommending that you, um, you know, either use a different phone from another network to try and call 911 if you need to do so. Um, all of this seems to be unfolding across the country uh, with many markets in, uh, being affected, including Los Angeles, Atlanta, Dallas, Chicago, New York, and more, um, with many people f experiencing a loss of signal on their phones, uh, particularly on AT&T. Uh, now, AT&T says it is tracking this issue and working to resolve it. Um, Verizon and T-Mobile say that their uh, networks are operating normally. Uh, if you are a Verizon or, or T-Mobile customer and you're experiencing issues, it's likely because, um, at least according to these companies, that you're trying to call an AT&T customer uh, who is affected by this issue. So uh, as of right now, it seems like the main uh, problem seems to affect AT&T only. Um, and again, uh, an industry official telling CNN earlier today uh, that uh, this does not appear linked to any cyber or other malicious activity. Kate? Let's re let me read that reporting once again, Juliet, and then you can l let me know what you think here. Yeah. There's no indication that Thursday's outage was a result of a cyber attack or other malicious activity. That's according to an industry source. The issue appears to be related to how cellular services hand off calls from one network to the next. The source says a process known as peering. We don't need to get into maybe the, yeah. the, the minutia of how, these, how this works, but what yeah. do you see here? Uh, so, okay, so the, the company has come out relatively quickly saying they, they think they have an explanation. I think that's good. I mean, you know, all of us worry about nefarious activity, uh, a critical infrastructure attack. It's just one company. And so, you know, you, you worry whether both there's an internal threat at at and or an external threat against AT&T, either uh, against networks uh, or critical infrastructure in the U.S. or, of course, uh, in space, because people, there has been um, unusual solar activity today, nothing to suggest that, that that caused it, but people like me look at the possible explanations. I will say that this, this um, explanation makes sense and is also a problem, right? In other words, it would make sense because this uh, uh, switching capacity would impact the major urban areas just because they're the, the central repositories of how AT&T distributes its uh, a cellular service. The problem is, why is there what we call in disaster management a single point of failure? I mean, if this one thing goes down, it appears for the first time, I don't remember an incident like this before, you have nationwide outages. We've seen regional ones based on a particular activity. So AT&T is gonna have to get it back up uh, quickly, uh, uh, be transparent about what happened, and then on the other side of this, figure out, we can, you can't have a system that can go down by a single patching or other, um, uh, or other technological um, uh, aspect that doesn't have a redundancy. We're too dependent on them. And I think that's the too dependent bit, I think, is what concerns everybody so much. It yeah. just is a, it's a stark reminder yeah. of how much, how all of us obviously rely so much on our cell phone service, or our cell phones, our cell phone service, and the networks yeah. that back that up, and how quickly that can feel very, very scary, especially, yeah. Brian, when some of it, some of the reports we saw this morning were that 911. Uh, service, 911 call it, calling into 911, that was also disrupted, at least in some places. Is there any word from the companies or what you're hearing from the industry sources of when this could be fixed? 
Well, not yet. Uh, you know, I think there's uh, the companies are working very quickly to try and address this. Um, you, the very concerning um, issues affecting 911 obviously make this a really pressing issue, um, Kate. And uh, you know, as you may know, AT&T operates a dedicated first responder network known as FirstNet, and uh, that is likely what is behind some of the issues related to 911 um, and preventing uh, people from being able to reach emergency responders. So. Obviously, you know that that's going to be a very high priority for AT&T to get that back online um, and minimize the disruption. If folks need to, you know, call the police or call the fire department, uh, you know, we've seen yeah. some tweets by uh, by fire officials saying, you know, if you if your fire alarm goes off, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that we will be notified. So please follow up with a 911 call uh, if your fire alarm does does go off because the, the telecommunications between your fire alarm and the fire department might be disrupted as a result of this outage. Yeah, things you're not checking quickly if you, when your fire alarm goes off in your house is Twitter to see how best to, to reach out to 911. That's why this is so scary and it is so urgent. Stay close, guys, because we'll see what happens in the next three hours during the show. Really appreciate it. Look, dystopian Thank movies you. begin with this. That's exactly right. right? I was begin, just watching one. Leave the world behind yes. on Netflix. Such a good show. Cell phone outage goes. You woke. I woke up this morning with SOS on, on my pink cell phone. Why it's pink is another issue. but He has a very strong opinion about cell phone covers. But again, when you can't reach anybody, it can be alarming. And that's what thousands of people woke up to this morning. Yep.